Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to upgrade your LightSail instance that's currently hosting WordPress. Um, so I decided I wanted to upgrade this instance mainly due to some performance concerns. Um, so I have a blog website where I host my WordPress um, blog articles on and I don't get too much traffic. This is just a screenshot from my WordPress statistics page. You can see like I get around like 600 and some views on this day. Uh, 527, 454. Um, so not like a, an egregiously high number, but I have started to notice some performance concerns, uh, ma mainly about the um, website becoming unresponsive due to a WordPress issue. And so I decided that I wanted to upgrade the instance type uh, to something a little bit more powerful. And so let me show you from the metrics kind of what you can expect in terms of having some performance issues because WordPress does gives you some interesting statistics for you to take a look at. Uh, so if I click on mine here and I go to the metrics section, um, you can see here if I switch it to what uh, one week I think should be good. You can see here, this is the CPU utilization, this um, line graph here. And underneath the green horizontal line here is the sustainable zone. So if our average CPU utilization is bef below this percentage or this uh, threshold here, then we'll be in a sustainable zone. Now with LightSail, you do have this concept of burst capacity. So you can go over this threshold for a period of time but it kind of like consumes credits like you can see down here. So when my CPU utilization went up really high here, you can see it consumed all my burst credits and that basically went down to zero. And then my CPU was stuck at like 2% utilization, which basically brought the website down. And I didn't come to know of it until I tried to go to my website and it wasn't responding. So I should probably set up alarms on that too. So I'm hopeful that when I upgrade here, this instance type, I'll get a little bit better performance uh, out of this. Something interesting to note too, is that when you pick the, uh, I'm on the base plan, which I think is $3.50 a month. Uh, for every plan version you go up, the sustainable zone increases. So right now it's about 5%. If you can tell like that green line is about 5% if this is things popping up here. If this is 20, this is probably five. Uh, the sustainable zone goes up for every instance type you upgrade. So for the $5 a month plan, it's 10%. And then I believe for the $10 a month plan, it's either 15% or 20% sustainable so that you can basically keep a higher steady state for your um, whatever you're hosting. So um, in order to do this, what we need to do is that first we need to take a snapshot of our instance and then we need to like create a new instance out of that snapshot and then we need to change over the uh, static IP because on my instance, you can see up here actually I have a static IP that's attached to it. So we basically need to create a new instance and then swap out the static IP from this instance to the new one that I created and everything should work pretty much out of the gate. I don't think we have to do anything else. Uh, so let's try this really quick. And how do I get to the part for um, taking a snapshot? Oh, here it is, snapshots. So go there. And here, what you want to do is click on create a snapshot. And just another thing while, while I'm on this screen, actually, you do want to take some snapshots periodically. Like I took a snapshot here like six months ago or so before a contractor worked on my website. Uh, and I also have the automatic rolling snapshots enabled. So this takes automatic daily snapshots uh, every day at a certain period of time. I just like to keep this handy just in case, you know, something happens and I need to roll back. Uh, like what's happening right now, actually, I'm doing an upgrade, so I probably want to keep these handy for some period of time. And uh, one small thing too, there is extra cost for this, um, for the snapshots that you take and the daily snapshots for the storage. So it's, I think it's five cents per gigabyte per month. Um, but it, it's a pretty reasonable um, amount here. Actually, it's a dollar. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and create our snapshot now. So I'm gonna click on this create snapshot button. It's gonna ask you for a name. I'm just gonna say um, pre-upgrade here, pre-upgrade. And you can click on create and something should up it. Yeah, there we go. So it's currently taking a snapshot of the disk. This may take a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna pause here and come back when it's all done. Okay, everyone, so this finally finished. It only took a couple minutes. Uh, so you can see now I have this snapshot with today's date, the WordPress one pre-upgrade. And so what we wanna do now is go ahead and click on these three dots here and we want to say, create a new instance. Uh, you also have some other options here if you wanna copy this to another region or export to EC2 or just delete, but we wanna copy this uh, to a new instance where we wanna perform the upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that 
and uh, everything is going to kind of inherit the settings that we had previously. So we're in the same region as before, uh, US East 1A or Virginia Zone A here. And uh, I'm going to leave everything here as default um, because it should all just inherit the settings. And so this is where we want to upgrade our instance type. So this is the type that I'm on right now. Um, and it's 350 a month. You get 512 megabytes, one vCPU, um, 20 uh, gigabyte SSD. So I want the extra uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, so that's why I'm basically doing this upgrade. And I want to do this incrementally to see how it performs um, and not kind of go too big too fast. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this $5 a month plan. And you can give this a name. So this is the WordPress um, 5G, actually, no, um, 1 GB mem instance so whatever name you want to give it uh, so we're going to say create instance now and this may take a little bit um, to launch everything up correctly uh, so you're going to see here now we have these two different wordpress instances we have this one on the right which is our original one that still has that static ip bound to it uh, the public static ip that's mapped to our dns records uh, and then here we have the new one and you can see this one has its own ip here uh, so we're just going to give this a minute or so um, until it's in a running state. I'm just going to refresh this periodically. Uh, actually, I'll fast forward this and come back when this is all done as well. All right, so the new instance finally started showing up in running state here. Uh, so what I want to do before I change over the public IP or the static IP with this thing is I just want to do a sanity test really quick to make sure that this thing is running the WordPress server and uh, the site is accessible uh, through its public IP. So if we click on this, um, we can get our public IP up here. Uh, do note that it does have a public IP, but it's not a static IP. We need a static IP because this can change uh, from time to time based on what happens with the instance behind the scenes. So the static IP will make it such that it'll stay consistent and then you can map your DNS records to that static IP. Um, so what I wanna do here is just open up another tab now and just put in that IP. And yeah, so this is what my website looks like. Um, when you go to www.beabetterdev.com, so here it is, you can see uh, it should be the exact same thing. So um, this is the one that's publicly accessible on the internet right now. This is the one that's uh, over here, um, the, the private or the public IP rather. This is the one we're gonna switch over the static IP to so that all the traffic starts coming to this instance now. Um, so let's close these really quick because we don't really need that anymore. Uh, come back here. Yeah, so we proved that this was working correctly, so it should be good to switch over now. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to LightSail. And what we want to do now is detach the public IP, this public static IP from our old instance, and then attach it to our new instance. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm clicking on the instance. We're going to go to networking. And then, um, yeah, so here's our static IP one. We're going to detach this from this. By the way, this will take your website down for a very small period of time. Uh, so usually you want to do this when there's a low amount of traffic, like at nighttime or something like that. Uh, so just be careful about this. So we're going to detach this now. And as of this moment on, um, we should have no response from our web server if we try to go to beabetterdev.com. So let's try that really quick just to, to test things out. This should not work. And you can see here, I'm just getting the infinite spinner now. Um, and I'm sure if I check like the network tab or something, oops, if I check the network tab um, in the console, I'd probably see like uh, if I reloaded it, it would show some kind of failure. So this is completely expected right now. Uh, let's just go back over here. Okay, so now we've detached the static IP from this instance. Let's go back and attach it to our new instance here, which is this one. So I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna to go to networking and we're gonna say attach a static IP and we're gonna click on that one and we're gonna say attach. And this should be updated, uh, I believe pretty instantly. Uh, so we shouldn't have to wait much time at all. But let's just check our website again. Let's go back up here. Yeah, so this is when I previously tried it. Let's try to reload it now after the static IP has changed. So pressing F5 and there you go. My new website is on this new instance. Uh, it was pretty easy. It only took like five minutes or something to get this going from end to end. So one other way that you can validate that this is all working is that you can go and take a look at the metrics. Um, so you can go over here back to your instance. You can go to metrics and start taking a look at like the CPU utilization. Uh, I just did this right now. So it probably has like no data points here. So this is the new instance. Uh, so you'll start to see it's like CPU utilization tick. And probably if you go to 
uh, its network, uh, yeah, incoming and outgoing network traffic, you'll probably see some uh, traffic here as people visit your website. And then you can contrast that with what you have in your old instance over here. Um, basically, all the metrics here should start dropping down very, very low, especially in terms of that uh, outgoing network traffic. So you can see here, this is what my pattern looks like. It's, you know, small amount because I have a low volume of uh, people going to my website, but still this will give you an idea. Uh, and one final thing just before I let you go, um, I wouldn't delete this instance right away, although you'll have to pay for um, it for you know a couple days or so. I would give this like, I don't know, a week or something um, to just bake and make sure that nothing bad happened and then finally come back and delete it. Uh, however, you can certainly stop it. And honestly, I'm not sure if you don't get charged when it's stopped or you still do get charged. Someone can uh, leave a note in the comments to clarify, hopefully. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just stop this instance and uh, make sure that um, you know it's no longer in commission. So we save on some of those resources. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. If you're interested in setting up a WordPress website from scratch, you can check out my other video here on the right where I walk through this entire process, including the website registration on Route 53 as well and changing the Route 53 DNS records too. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.